this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to do this stitch that's called fleur de lis and with a French accent I'm not even going to try it but it is a very popular um, symbol I know you've seen it a lot but this uh, stitch takes its name from this symbol and I can kind of see the symbol in it um, but it's very easy to do um, if you followed the shadow tracery stitch uh, video that I did not long ago this is done the same way as you can see both colors are together you do one row and then you go and you do the other row on top of it without turning and then you turn and then you do one row and then you do the other one on top of it so you're going to be doing two rows at a time before you turn so you're going to need two different colors and this stitch can be done with any um, size yarn just make sure they're the same ply and any size hook any kind of hook that goes with the size yarn so I'm going to be using these two balls of yarn to do this the multiples of the stitch is six plus one so go ahead and grab your yarn and your hook and let's get started okay like I said the stitch calls for sets of six plus one so I went ahead and I chained 20 and then I'm going to do the plus one now now to get started you want to skip the first two chains and double crochet in the third chain from the hook then you want to chain one skip two stitches two chains one two and in this third chain put a single crochet and then you want to chain one after you do the single crochet then skip two one two and in the third you'll be putting three double crochets one two and three now this beginning two here the chain of the double crochet was basically like this one the three double crochets it was just like a half of one so this is where our repeat starts you'll chain one let me get a little closer for you chain one then skip two one two and in the third put a single crochet then chain one skip two and then the third put three double crochets so you'll be repeating this same pattern for the whole row you'll have your three double crochets always chain one after your three double crochets skip two third stitch put a single crochet and chain one and then you'll be repeating the same thing again skipping two stitches and putting your three double crochets until you get to the end here now you just did your single crochet chain one and this is where you would normally skip two and put three double crochets but since it's the very end you'll just put two double crochets in this last stitch then pull up your loop and this is what the row looks like so far I don't know if it's too bright for you or not it's hard to see there now this is where you need to get your other color so don't cut your yarn Just leave the loop up like this grab the other color that you want to use and make my slit knot and here in the top chain so you skip two stitches and then the third you did your double crochet so you have your your two um, chains here which counts as your double crochet so you have two double crochets on this end and two double crochets on this end now at the top the of the two you want to do a single crochet attachment and how you do that is just put your hook through pull up a loop leaving two loops on your hook 
and then yarn over and do the single crochet. Now for this row, you'll want to chain two and skip on over here to your single crochet. Wait, actually, uh, this is where you do your your three double crochets, but first you want to do a back post double crochet onto this next double crochet. So you'll yarn over, go in between those two stitches, push that stitch back, and you'll do your double your back post double crochet. And then into this single crochet, you'll do a double crochet right into that single crochet. And then again, there's your three double crochets from last round. This first double crochet here, you want to do a back post double crochet on it. Then chain two, do a single crochet in this center. See the three? You did a back post here. Now you want to do a single crochet here in the center. So you did your back post double crochet on this one. Chain two, do a single crochet in the, in the middle one. Then chain two, which brings you back to the next section here where you have your last double crochet of this three, you have the single crochet, and then you have this next set of three starting. You'll always be using the last and the first along with this single crochet in the middle to make the next little, uh, I guess that was, that's kind of what's making the, the flirty lease. So the first one, do a back post, I should say on this last double crochet of the three, back post double crochet, then in the single crochet you want to just do a, a regular double crochet, and then the beginning of the next set here you want to do a back post double crochet. And Then now you have the center, you want to do a chain two, single crochet, chain two, then you start the pattern again the last double crochet of this three, do a back post, oops, do a double crochet in the center, single crochet here, and then you'll do a, this is the end of the row, so you'll just continue like normal, but when you get to the end of the row, go ahead, you have two double crochets here on the end, farthest, I mean the closest one to you, you'll do your double crochet as normal, then you'll chain two, and then in this last stitch, last double crochet of the round, you'll put a single crochet. That's what your row looks like so far. And then you'll want to pull up, and then grab your other color, your first color, And now you want to chain three, one, two, and three, and turn. Now here's your loop. You just want to kind of grab it with your finger just to kind of move it out of the way, but to where you can still see the stitch, which is the last stitch that you did with this color was a single crochet in your double crochet. So you want to do a double crochet in this last single crochet. And then you'll chain one, and then you'll skip over here to the center double crochet, the, just the regular double crochet that you did. See it's uh, in between two back post double crochets. You want to just go to the regular double crochet and do a single crochet in it, on the top of it. Then chain one, move over, and here where it has a single crochet, you'll want to put three double crochets in the center of that. Chain one, move over here again to the single uh, double crochet here, and you'll want to put a single crochet inside of it, and chain one, 
then find your next single crochet and put three double crochets inside of it. And chain one. So you're skipping a lot. You're just working with the, the double crochets and the single crochets from this round, from last round I should say. And you just continue doing that. Here's the next uh, single double crochet, so I will single crochet in it, chain one, and now in this very last chain here, there's one, two, in the second chain here, there's a chain two, and then there's the single crochet at the very beginning. You can do the two double crochets in the, the last single crochet of the round. No, it gets hard to see, but there is a single crochet there. You just put two double crochets in that. And then you pull up your loop. You can grab your other one. I usually just turn it back like this. You want to chain one and then you can turn. Makes it easier. Now in the top of the chain three here, the first chain three, put a single crochet. And then, whoops, I unraveled that for a second. Let me fix it. It'd be hard working with two yarn, two, two yarns, at the, two skeins at the same time. Okay, so you have your single crochet. Now you want to chain two, and then you want to do like you did your first row here. You'll yarn over, and using this second double crochet of the round, you'll do a back post. Double crochet. And then in the single crochet here, you'll do a regular double crochet. And then here's your set of three again, in this first double crochet, you'll do a back post double crochet. Then you want to chain two and in the center double crochet you'll put a single crochet. And then you'll chain two again. Then move over to this next, the last of the set of three here and do your back post double crochet. And then in the single crochet, you'll do your, your normal double crochet. And then the beginning of the next set of three, you'll do your back post double crochet. Then chain two, single crochet in the center one, chain two, and then start it all over again. Doing your back post in the next one. Your regular double crochet in the center. And then when you get to the end here, you'll just continue. You'll do your back post on the first of the two double crochets on the end. And then you'll chain two. And then the very last double crochet of the row, you'll do a single crochet. Then you pull that up. And then that's it. That is basically the pattern of how to repeat this over and over and over again. Now you're going to switch back over to your yellow and you're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and you'll turn. And again, in this first single crochet, you will put a double crochet. And that gives you your two at the beginning. Then you do your simple chain one move over to the regular double crochet in the center here and you'll do your single crochet chain one then you move over here to your single cro your single crochet here and you'll put your three double crochets into this stitch chain one find the next double crochet here put a single crochet and chain one. Then move over to your single crochet and do your three double crochets.
and chain one in your next double crochet you'll single crochet in it and chain one and then in the single crochet at the very end of the row you'll put two double crochets in it you pull up grab your next color again I usually like to just start from this side real quick and chain one then turn now I'm on the same side and then again you'll be single crocheting in the top of the chain top of the chain three here and then chain two and then this first double crochet of the row you'll do a back post double crochet and then the single crochet you'll put a regular double crochet and then you'll do your back post double crochet then you'll do your chain two the middle double crochet you'll single crochet and chain two you're just going to be repeating these two rows over and over and over again and you can make a beautiful afghan, baby afghan or a beautiful scarf cowl, anything that you can think of. It's a beautiful uh, going, it's in a row so even though you're using two colors keep this in mind but uh, I'm sure any, any uh, colors that go in a row like this, any pattern that goes in a row like this can easily be put in the round as well. But uh, this is the way that the pattern shows you how to do it. So I hope that this has been helpful and that you can now use this stitch to make all kinds of different things. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been the tutorial to show you how to do the Fleur de Lis stitch. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.